at the 2019 Wolfram Technology Conference. I'm Sylvia Haas and I run Wolfram's uh, social media. So I'm here with my co-host. I'm Shruti Ponce and I was at this year's Wolfram Summer Camp. And this is Devendra Kapadia and he's the manager of Calculus and Algebra. And today he's going to be talking to us about the interactive linear algebra course on Wolfram U. Okay, thank you, Shruti and Sylvia. It's great to be here. Uh, I'm going to talk about a topic which has been, I've been kind of obsessed with for the last year, that's linear algebra. And uh, you might wonder what's a MOOC? Well, a MOOC stands for a Massive Open Online Course. It's massive, so we can have a thousand people listening to a particular lecture. It's open. Anyone can be there. You don't have to be a particular age, be in a particular country, or studying at a particular school. Uh, and it's online, well, because that's where we put all our lectures on Wolfram U. And it's just like a college course or a high school course, but it's much more friendly and much more geared towards people who want to learn at their own pace. So that's the my topic for today's uh, talk. Now, so. Awesome. So is that what you've been working on, like, as your day-to-day -day job? My this, this, my day-to-day -day job, my day job almost is, uh, I'm manager of calculus and algebra, so we have a, probably eight, nine people in our team who do different things. So uh, I'm basically a, a calculus person to start with, so differential equations, uh, and then what we call asymptotics and all kinds of stuff. So I'm giving a talk at the conference on calculus algebra, another one asymptotics. But this over here is a kind of follow-up from something which I did last year, which was an interactive calculus course. So last year, we released an introduction to calculus MOOC, and that's been very successful in the sense that we get roughly 8,000 people coming to our website every month. And I reached students as far as uh, remote Nigeria, and I had a student write to me saying that, you know, he didn't have Mathematica, didn't have a computer, somehow borrowed one, did the course. So I, I thought that we are now touching lives, not just educating. So uh, I thought that we should now do a linear algebra MOOC. So what's linear algebra? It's something that you might have studied at middle school, high school, things like, you know, solving a system of equations, etc. And this really is an introductory course. So I'm not trying to uh, assume anything from anyone. Uh, it's meant for, I would say, high schoolers should do just fine on this course. It starts from a very basic and takes you all the way up to very modern stuff like data science and image compression, the kind you see on your, on your iPhone. So I've, I've put in I'd say a lot of effort. Uh, in addition to my day job, which is calculus development, this is what I've been doing uh, in the afternoons and evenings all of last year. Awesome. So can you walk us through a little bit more about the course? Sure, of course. So uh, the, the, the core of this course is uh, 25 video lessons. You know, I, I think that many courses at high school and college are kind of long, and it's okay if you're in a classroom, but if you're going to do things on your own, you want 25 is the limit I set myself. So uh, the course begins with what is the linear algebra, which is what you see over here, talks a bit about the history of the subject, how it began, why some parts of it are difficult, why some parts are easy, why you don't do linear algebra, would it matter? Well, it would. Uh, if you want to do economics, engineering, data science, computer science, in today's world, you better know linear algebra. They're going to ask you, how good is your linear algebra? You apply to a grad school, really good grad school, they're going to ask you, how good is the computer programming? How good is the linear algebra? On the other hand, uh, all you need to know for this particular course is just some algebra and trigonometry. So if you know that sine of 30 degrees is one half, that's good enough. If you don't, I'll tell you. <laughs> so uh, this is a very friendly kind of course. I've put in a lot of effort to make sure that nothing goes over 10 minutes, which is about what people can focus on in uh, a typical online lesson. And the nice thing is that we've got uh, the Wolfram Cloud. And what the Wolfram Cloud does is it lets you try things on your own interactively. So you could, you know, you, you might do draw a 3x3 three three matrix on your own, but if you're on Wolfram Cloud, you could try a 500x500 500 500 calculation to come back in a second or less. And so the nice thing is that everything's available to you, computation, explanation, exercises, and uh, there are some quizzes. I, I don't much like exams. I mean, I, I wish that there were no exams in the world, but the fact is there are. So there are just a few quizzes to make sure that you understand what you're doing. But everything's nice and friendly. This is an easy course. It's not a typical college linear algebra course. This is one geared to someone who wants to learn linear algebra and launch their career in data science or wherever they want to go. Awesome. So uh, uh, just a bit more maybe about uh, the course, and that's, uh, you know, I think that 
many parts of mathematics are a bit dry. You take high school geometry. I've taught high school geometry many years. It, it's kind of you wonder why would anyone want to do this? Well, I wouldn't wonder, but most people would, you know. Uh, so, uh, in the course, I've tried to give some nice applications of linear algebra, which is what made the subject so interesting. Like, you know, economic models, when you go to um, the university and study economics, you might have a system of 500 equations, 500 unknowns, and um, around 1940 that actually happened, a Nobel Prize winner, Leon Tiff, was trying to solve a 500 system. Uh, it took him, I think, 56 hours to do the calculation and a few months to program it. Today you can do that in about 0.1 seconds in the cloud. So I invite you to try that in the course. Um, last week there was a lot of uh, uh, you know, publicity about something called uh, quantum supremacy. And uh, that's based on something called quantum entanglement. It goes back to Albert Einstein in 1935. So I've tried to give an idea of how you do quantum entanglement using linear algebra. Uh, and what you see over here is me playing at the bottom of the screen is me playing the tabla, which is an Indian drum. And I try and show that if you allow yourself just a bit of compression, you can get a pretty good uh, compression of that image to suit your needs. So this is something you do all the time, not us, but the, your iPhone, your computer are doing it all the time. It's good to know how to do it, and linear algebra is a place to learn it. So, uh, and maybe just one last thing now that I've uh, spoken about all of that, uh, is that, you know, when you do something nice, you put in a lot of effort, you put maybe 10 to hours on the videos, you surely want us to do something for you and tell you you did well, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, we will give you a nice free certificate if you finish our course. And uh, you can proudly say, I know linear algebra, which is, which is a big achievement in this today's world. So Definitely. that roughly is how uh, I see this course going. Right, so you said there will be a few quizzes. So when you open the course, what are the resources that are available to you? So like lectures or videos or what kind of stuff is there? Right, so the, I spoke about the video lessons, those are the kind of core of the course. You, you can learn a topic and then you can do some practice exercise which are similar to what was done in the class. And then after a few lessons, you'll have a quiz. The quiz is multiple choice, not very difficult at all. But the point is you can always go back and forth and look at the video, look at the exercise. And if people want, we can certainly give more. But I've tried to keep everything down to five questions. So, you know, you don't take too much time on them. But believe me, if someone didn't know linear algebra, a month later they would if they followed this course. Okay, awesome. So, what are your future plans for this project? Uh, well, the thing is that we have been... Uh, I, I am part of Wolfram U, which uh, has a mission of trying to educate people. And our CEO, Stephen Wolfram, uh, teaches middle school students every... Uh, Sunday and basically and he, he is actually much into educating people and he wants us to try and give lots of uh, different courses not just uh, calculus linear algebra but maybe uh, high school algebra could be other things differential equations we have plans uh, we want to help people to do the AP courses all over the country um, so we have plenty of plans, but honestly what I'm looking for is people like you, Shruti or Sylvia, who want to learn mathematics and tell us what you think might be a good thing for us to, to do. So that's in terms of future future plans, you know. So, yeah. Is Wolfram U the right place for like people to go check that out? Yes, so I think Wolfram U is, uh, is a massive resource. By my reckoning, we probably get more than 100,000 people in some months coming to the website because it's got hundreds of videos for all kinds of things. You want to learn data science, you want to learn image processing, you want to learn calculus, linear algebra, whatever. Um, it's all in Wolfram U. It's completely free and you can just learn it. Uh, so this particular course, by the way, is uh, about to be uh, kind of shipped. It's almost ready. A couple of months worth of work left over here. The website needs to go up. I'm done. Uh, so, um, uh, basically, uh, over the last few months, I've been recording at a hectic pace, and I have handed over charge, but very soon, in a couple of months, everyone can go to Wolfram the Wolfram website and just learn linear algebra yeah. at their own pace. So that's the dream that we have for this year. That's amazing. Yeah. So. Do you have anything else to share with us? Uh, well, what, what I'd like to say, I just want to take you back a little bit to uh, an earlier slide and, you know, when you do mathematics, uh, the question is why are some things easy and why are some things hard? And the reason is that 
it depends on when they came up in history, you know. So, um, you know, like, uh, you see over here Gabriel Kramer, who was around 1750, and Gabriel Kramer actually, uh, the one with the long hair, uh, he actually uh, studied determinants, and uh, he was uh, one of the pioneers of linear algebra. And then later on, uh, Carl Friedrich Gauss, Gauss uh, taught us about least squares, which he was a child prodigy. And then much later, well, 50 years later, uh, Cayley and Sylvester, who were actually in London, and uh, those days you could not make a living doing mathematics, so they were lawyers and actual scientists and that kind of stuff. So, uh, and then much later, the subject became more abstract. So, um, uh, what I'm trying to say is that when you, when you study mathematics, you wonder why is something so hard? That's because it took a long time for people to discover it. So, if you find it hard, so do the people who discovered it. So, I've tried to follow the historical um, process of learning linear algebra, and I hope that you will really, really enjoy it. Yes, thank you so much for coming in to talk with us. Once again, this was Devendra Kapadia, and make sure to check out his linear algebra course on Wolfram U. Thank you very much, Selvia. Thank you, Shruti. It's a great yes, talk. Thank you.